so I have a padded bra here from Kmart, it was five bucks, and I'm going to try and figure out the placement on this, of this, on the corset, so where it should go, um, it'll, in order to give the right shape for Jasmine. I'm not going to do that on camera, because that's weird, but that is what I'll do off camera, just so you know. <laughs> Hey guys, so it's been about a week since I last updated you guys on on the progress of the base corset for Jasmine. Um, what I've done is I've tried it on with the um, padded push-up bra and then pinned where I think that should go and then I also cut down um, cut down the front of the corset to where the fabric meets the middle point of the bra and I'm thinking of um, cutting that black part and sewing it together closer um, for a better fit but we'll see and um, yeah I've just like sort of marked out where the um, cup starts so what I'm thinking of doing, um, this, was a, this was a suggestion from uh, someone on Instagram and they said what I should do is cut the um, corset down into the underbust shape and then sew, sew this fabric to the cup or something like that. Anyway, that's what I'm going to attempt to do and if this fails, um, at least I learnt from it and... Um, <laughs> yeah I can improve on the next one um, like the thing is I don't mind having to do it again I just don't want to sew all of the eyelets again down the down, down the back of the corset that's the part I dread the most okay so I'm back from trying it on and I'm quite happy with how it's um, laying on the body now with uh, with the padded cups as well so I'm quite glad that I did end up cutting the boning to be um, a little bit over the blue line where the underwire um, originally was marked to go. So what I'm going to do is close off these boning channels so the boning doesn't escape and then what I'm going to try and do is um, align the bottom wire part of the cup um, to the top of the boning so they lie flush against one another and not on top on, of one another. So I'm not sure how that's showing on camera, but to lie flush against one another. Um, yeah, so I found that having the cup a little bit above the blue line um, really helps to give the right shape. So yeah, I'm going to close off those braining channels now and I'll get back. So I just trimmed off the top edge after sewing it down and you would have seen that I inserted some longer boning into the center front so these three reach all the way up to the top rather than they were about here before um, rather than all the way to the top and then I've also cut out the cup shape and if I turn it to the inside you can see that that's about half an inch to an inch above the original blue line. Um, so yeah, I 
guess I will bind off the edges with um, the bias binding now. Oop. Um, I think I'll just do this first so then at least I'll have some nice edges and then I'll figure out how to attach the cups. Yeah, I'll do that. Oh, and if you didn't know, this is um, bias binding. It's basically uh, cut on the diagonal of the fabric, so it has some curve, so it can ease around curved edges easily. And the raw edges are folded to the middle, and then this will just be sewn to the edge, um, like so, and that will just hide all of the raw edges. So, yeah. I'm not being too particular with this. Um, yeah, I just want something to cover up the raw edges. the edges are now binded uh, very badly and I know that the technique that I used is not the proper way to use bias binding. Um, usually what you would do um, is you would open up one of the edges, so like this edge, and then you would sew that the, you would sew that along the fold and then that would be sewn down and then you would flip it to this side and then uh, top stitch that down or uh, hand sew it so the stitching can't be seen from the other side but <laughs> I did the lazy way where I just fold it over the edge and then sew. Um, I've gotten to the point um, in making this where I honestly don't care about how neat um, anything is because one, it won't be seen and two, I have a feeling I am going to remake this but I just want to get this done so I can drape over it and get started on the main bodice and then perhaps I will remake this if I am still not happy with it. Um, like you can see that it's it's quite dodgy. Uh, raw edges here. Um, yeah it's not it's not the best. Although none of my sewing work is very good. But I will get better with practice and I know that now that I've attempted to make this once um, the next time I do it will be a lot better, so yeah, I, I don't mind having to remake it, just not right now, I just want to get on with it. Anyway, um, it's time to add the cups, so I don't know how I'm going to do this, but basically I want the boning to lay just underneath the underwire of the, of the bra. So something like that, I guess, and then I'll hand stitch this um, the corset edge to the bra somehow. And for the center part, um, the boning of the top of the center front will um, match up to the middle of the bra here. 
and that will be hand stitched into place as well and hopefully once that is all done so all across here will be hand stitched down I will be able to try it on and it will fit nicely and have the right shape and all of that and then as for the these straps of the bra I don't want to keep the straps on I do want to keep these straps the shoulder straps but as for the straps that go around the around the back and then clasp in the back I don't want because um, if I turn this over you can see that the back sort of dips down and is a low back and I don't want the back clasp of the bra to be sticking out the top so I will probably I'll probably keep this section here and then chop off chop off like around here and then sew that to the um, to the inside of the corset like that um, yeah and then just remove this back clasp since that will interfere with the low back so yeah I have no idea how I'm going to hand sew this on um, I'm just going to try different things I'm just going to see what works I'm not going to actually talk through the process of me doing it because I don't actually know what I'm doing but if I find a way that works and it works then I'll get back to you guys and let you know what I did but I don't know if this will work <laughs> hope it does but we'll see on how I'm going with sewing the cups to the corset it is taking a very long time and I know that I'm going to have to go over parts multiple times to make sure it's extra secure so all I've done so far is just stitched all around um, the top edge of this cup so when I say the top edge I mean like above the boning of the cup I don't know why the lighting is so off there we go um, yeah so like in in there and the boning is like underneath here so if I turn it to the other side um, <laughs> you can see my lovely stitching and I've just been trying to keep um, just above the boning but not going out onto this padded section so that's what I've done so far I've only done one side and I will need to do the other side as well but what I am thinking of doing after I've done the other side is actually stitching down the bottom edge so underneath the boning so that will help keep the boning underneath the wire of the of the cup so at the moment the boning seems to want to creep above the wire whereas what I want it to do is lay flat and flush against the wire like that so I think that will require some extra stitching um, underneath the wire yes underneath the wire but also like sewing through the fabric that is surrounding the wire I, I'm not making any any sense but basically just sewing in places to keep it holding the way I want it to um, no real technique um, just 
use very like small stitches, strong stitches, um, back stitches preferably. So that's what I've been doing all along here. Um, yeah, like that's that's how I can explain it. Um, and also like just to show you that it is quite messy. Um, here, some of the um, bias binding wasn't actually covering the raw edge. So I just sort of like went over it um, hand sewing it and I mean those are raw edges but I don't care <laughs> time to do the other side uh, I'm gonna go have dinner first yep After many, many hours, two movies, many hours of procrastinating, and like a week later, <laughs> um, I've finally sewn on the cups to the body of the corset. Um, so I've done stitching all along the top of the wire and then stitching all along the bottom of the wire to um, attach the fabric to the bra. So that's been done all along um, the underwire of the bra. If I turn it right side out um, you can see my stitching and here the bias binding that I attached didn't really cover up the raw edges so I sort of just um, tacked those edges down um, while I hand sewed the this part and same goes for this side as well um, yeah it's quite messy and if I were to do this again which I might I don't know um, I would attach the bias binding properly um, by sewing one edge and then turning it over and then top stitching down the other edge and that way I can be sure that it's um, locking in all of those raw edges um, rather than what I've got here. So my hands are tired from doing that and um, one thing that's annoying me just a little bit is that the cup edge here extends quite a bit more than this side here. Um, yeah, so it's not symmetrical and I can feel it when I wear it um, that it does dig into my right side just a little bit more underneath my armpit um, which is annoying but you live and you learn right um, so I guess now I'm just going to try this on one last time make sure it's all good and all secure and just also making sure that these uh, boning pieces underneath the wire um, lay flat um, because one of them was poking out a bit um, rather than being directly underneath the underwire of the bra but uh, we'll see um, apart from that I think I think that's all and I'm really really hoping that I can move on to draping the um, the bodice now. I've just noticed <laughs> that there are raw edges here so I guess I'm going to quickly stitch those down um, and then I'll get on to draping the bodice. <laughs> 